Welcome back and in today's video I'll guide you through the process on how you can change the lock screen shortcuts on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. So the first step is to access the lock screen editor and we have two methods we can use. The first method is by opening settings then you scroll down and select lock screen and AOD then from here tap on edit lock screen. The second method is by accessing the lock screen directly and then long pressing to enter editing mode. Again, these instructions apply if your phone has been folded. So when you fold your phone like that and then you long press, you'll be able to enter editing mode. So from here, you should see these two shortcuts that you currently have on your lock screen. So I have my phone shortcut and the camera shortcut. So to change them, select either option and then choose either a tool, so such as calculator, do not disturb, snapchat, torch or voice recorder. Or you can choose any of these other apps that will need you to access by unlocking your phone. So you can choose the clock app, contacts, discord, any of these options that you have installed. So say for example, I choose Gmail. So now I have Gmail as my shortcut on the left side of my lock screen. So I can also choose to change the camera shortcut. I can choose to leave it as camera or I can choose calculator. And you also have the option of selecting no app at all. So once you've finished with your customizations, tap on done to save and apply the changes. So now you'll notice that the lock screen shortcuts have changed on the lock screen and it's been applied to both sides. So when you unlock your phone, or sorry, when you unfold your phone and you access the lock screen, you should see the shortcuts have also been changed here. So to open them, you'll just need to swipe like this to open the apps. So if you want to open voice recorder, you would just tap on it and then swipe until voice recorder opens. And it's the same with your Gmail app. You long press and swipe and the Gmail will open. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.